Hello, this is Bill Webb, aka Billy Indiana. Today I'm going to be unboxing Funfair. Good Games Publishing just recently sent me this review copy. It's a game by Joel Finch with art by Mr. Cuttington. And we're going to open it up and see what's inside the box. Huh. I'm very grateful for Good Games Publishing to send me this copy of Funfair. I haven't played the original Unfair. I know there's some different uh, comparisons between the games, but I haven't played that original. Looking forward to this one. It reminds me of Roller Coaster Tycoon that my kids used to play on the computer when they were growing up. Um, so I'm excited to actually take this on vacation. Uh, one of my daughters who really enjoyed those games, Zoo Tycoon and Roller Coaster Tycoon, those games, uh, we're going to be going and visiting them next week, she and her family. and. Uh, it's a game I'm excited to try with her. I think that she and her husband will probably enjoy this one and get a chance to play it together. Uh, so this one says, Fun Fair, you're trying to build the best theme park in town. Choose and build an exciting mix of attractions in your very own theme park. Upgrade them to match blueprints or just stack up towering rides that pull in the crowds and make the most cash. Hire staff members and build super attractions to maximize your park strategy for the win. You're going to build and recruit. You're going to upgrade those sites. You're going to design, so matching your park to your hidden blueprints for big points, and then create overall your theme park. So this is a game for 14 and up, two to four players, 15 minutes per player. Uh, so let's take a look and see what's inside the box. All right, so we've got Good Games Publishing Catalog here. Then they also sent me a copy of Guildmaster, so we'll be checking that out soon too. And here's Unfair and the expansion that I mentioned. From what I've heard, the the game Unfair is quite a bit more take that, and probably not one that our family would enjoy as much. We've also got Fairy Season and Fluttering Souls, so a few games there by this um, publisher. Here is the rule book. You can see objective, what's in the box, the setup, and a nice picture of the setup showing what the cards are, how to upgrade, how to set up your attractions, explaining the showcase and blueprint cards and city cards and awards, how to build a theme park summary page, I like that, a guide to your layout and operation of a tabletop fun fair, and then the how to play directions here, scoring, and so we got about a 12 page manual here with quick reference and strategy tips on the back. All right, next in here, we see some kind of a game board. All right, so here is one side of the game board. You can see the Funfair Awards. We've got the Park, Market, 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 City, Market, 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 Blueprint. And then the other side, I assume just a couple different ways to play. Yeah, a little bit different layout of where the market spaces are and the blueprints are. So I have to look into that and see why there's two different sides to that. And then here we've got a bag full of chips. They look almost like poker chips. I see some green fives and some blue ones, and there's some reds in there. I'm guessing they're probably threes or maybe tens. Oh, 25s. Okay, so there's some tokens there. We've got... Oh, here's the Thrill Ride little miniature. Take that out and take a look. We've got this roller coaster miniature here. Person with their hands up, kind of cute. So, see how we use that. And then a pencil, um, a standee base for something. And the score card here. Is there something else? No, nothing else in there. So I'm not sure what the standee is for yet. We've got cards here, so we'll crack open those cards and see what they're made of or what they're how they're organized and what they what they include and then another deck of cards here so I'll crack into the tokens and the cards and take a look at a few of them on the close-up camera all right so as we look at the close-up here we've got a few of the park cards and blueprint cards these are the two biggest stacks that are in the card collection and then in the tokens I found this little fun fair token which I think looks like goes in the standee base there you can see the 1s, 5s, and 25s for those tokens. Uh, for the blueprints, the, this is the entire stack. And you can see that on the underside, it gives some directions on what you're supposed to be making, I think. So lots of, I think, goals for you to try to achieve for setting up your theme park. And so those are the blueprint cards. And then there's a bunch more fun park cards, or, or sorry, park cards. Uh, so here's a whole other stack in addition to these. And it looks like these are the different things you're going to be putting into the park 
the different kinds of roller coasters and other rides. Art looks really nice. Brings back fun memories of going to the theme parks. I haven't been to one in quite a while. Now that they're opening up here in the area again, I'm looking forward to maybe getting back to Six Flags and Disneyland. Yeah, there's quite a bunch of nice art in these park cards. Here are a few other kinds of cards that are in the box. We've got the gate cards, I think just where you'll be starting the creation of your park. And then we've got the showcase cards. <laughs> Hope I can get it off the table here. Just trimmed my nails this morning, so I'm having a hard time. There we go. Sorry about that. So it looks like here are some showcase rides you might be trying to put into your park. And then some city cards. Kind of like events maybe of some sort. So I'm excited to try this one. All right. And then a couple other cards. There are also some award cards here. Finest Park, Seniors Value, People's Choice, Wooden Spoon, Critics' Choice. There's also a Blueprint Deck Closing Soon uh, so, and then Closed Card. And then there are some round summary sort of player aid cards here with scoring on the other side. So there you have it. That is Fun Fair by Good Games Publishing. Very excited to give this game a try very soon in the next couple of weeks. And then hopefully posting a review by the end of the month or early in August. So hopefully this was informative and helpful for you to learn about the game Fun Fair from this unboxing. If it was, it'd be terrific if you'd give it a thumbs up down below and give it a like. It would be terrific if you'd also subscribe to the channel. If you've played Funfair or Unfair, if you can give us any comments down in the comment section, I'd love to hear your thoughts about either one or both of those games. As always, thanks for watching. This is Billy Indiana, signing off. Uh -huh.